The Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network. The Gateway Ford Frankie DeBusk Show with the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten and head coach Frankie DeBusk. The Frankie DeBusk Show is presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, the home of the big deal, located on the 11 Bypass in Greenville. And brought to you in part by Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. Applebee's, eating good in the neighborhood. Sodexo, a worldwide leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. By Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 66th anniversary. By Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by. Pick up a Hunt Brothers Pizza for those football Friday nights or Saturday afternoons, with three locations in Green County. Laughlin Memorial Hospital, whatever you do, do it well. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, Cleveland, and Greenville. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Special consideration from Comcast Cable. And now, the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome into the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brian Staten. The Tusculum Pioneers travel to Tigerville, South Carolina, to take on the North Greenville Crusaders for the third ever meeting between the schools. Tusculum was 2-0 all time. As a matter of fact, it played three times. One of those games just, we'll say, just didn't count, although the Pioneers won the contest. For North Greenville, they're coming off a loss to Presbyterian, a member out of the FCS, and the Tusculum Pioneers coming off a loss to Georgia Southern, also a member out of the FCS. Of course, Georgia Southern, the number one ranked team in FCS, Presbyterian is not. We welcome in Pioneer coach Frankie DeBusk, a North Greenville University team that has uh, outstanding talent, has an outstanding upside, and you liken them to old Pioneer teams. Very much so, Brian. Uh, I told our football team in our Sunday meeting that uh, North Greenville reminded me a lot of the Tusculum Pioneers in 2000, 2001, 2002, whenever we were trying to make a name for ourselves and we were, we were beating people that uh, uh, didn't know if we really should have been at the time or not, but we were believing, we were playing hard, we wanted to win. And, and I told uh, Jamie Chadwell after the game, the head coach at North Greenville, that uh, their team wanted it more than we did. They outplayed us, they outcoached us. Um, uh, I, I was impressed with how he had them prepared to play. and. Uh, we went over there not prepared. Uh, I actually told him after the game that you, you got me, and you're not going to get me again. I'll be ready the next time we line up and play North Greenville. But uh, they were the better football team that night and, uh, and beat us. The Tusculum Pioneers fall to North Greenville by a score of 27-7. to When we come back with more of the Frankie DeBuck Show, we'll take a look at your quarter highlights. The Frankie DeBuck Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Dean, what's wrong? We all want to go to the game, but I just don't think they have a car big enough for all of us. Don't worry, Dean. My dad's inside Gateway right now buying us a new SUV that can fit all of us. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's, let's go. go! Hey, Ty, you ready to go to the game? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Dad, but we have some new people wanting to go to the game. Well, let's go! Yeah! I see you down world. I'm Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, asking you, like I do my son Ty, to support the Tusculum College Athletics all year long. And for your next car buying experience, please visit Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Go Pioneers! Applebee's 2 for 20 is back and fresher than ever. Whoa! Hey Chris, nice. hi Jesse. Hey. Ready to order? Yep, 2 for 20. One appetizer, two entrees, and layers of fresh flavor. So, who's paying this week? Uh, call it in the air. Tails. <laughs> Pony of Palmer. So come on in for new favorites like new creamy chicken fettuccine carbonara, new bruschetta chicken, or classics like the seven ounce house sirloin. That's one appetizer, two entrees, 20 bucks. You got off easy, my friend. It's the freshest oh, two for 20 yet, only at Applebee's. Now serving half price appetizers late night. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. 
Welcome back into the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. The Tusculum Pioneers playing their third game of the season, again on the road and into the state of South Carolina. Interestingly enough, the last two contests for the Pioneers at the side of a place that Coach DeBus, where a team that Coach DeBus defeated in a national championship game, and then just outside the upper skirts of Furman University at North Greenville University. So it's almost like a little victory tour uh, for you. Unfortunately, we hadn't won either game, so I don't know if it's a victory tour or not. They didn't win the game against North Greenville, and we'll start with your first quarter highlights. Your first quarter highlights brought to you by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Brian, what a night. You know, I thought our kids would really respond and be excited, and uh, we took the field offensively, moved the chains, had some success, and ended up going for it there here on fourth down. Not sure that was a great decision by me, the head coach, but felt like we, we had a chance to, to, to build some momentum and get this thing going off and running in the direction we all thought we could could perform at and fortunately there uh, we were down I, I couldn't really tell if it was a fumble or not but thank goodness they called us down and uh, we're trying to respond here at North Green was was fired up they, they came at us give us everything we wanted and we just didn't quite respond coach Mark Kolb the offensive coordinator for the Pioneers knew they like to play some cover three cover four he felt like the underneath stuff was going to be available for them but were you surprised with their team speed they had on defense? I just thought they had a great plan and they had an incredible willingness to, to, to win the football game. Uh, they were better than I expected them to be. I have to give uh, Jamie Chadwell credit as I told him when the game was over. I was impressed with his football team and how he had prepared them to play and uh, we just didn't respond like we need to or could or should. Pioneers go for it here on fourth down. Foster can't get the first down. Nick Rosamondo, one of their all-conference safety uh, comes up with the stop. So North Greenville will have the ball. We'll pick it up third down and four. Tusculum just had a hard time getting off the field defensively, and this may have been maybe even the worst defensive series the entire game for the Pioneers. Yeah, after this one series here, when, when we miss a few tackles and they end up scoring on us, we, we settled down and uh, started playing great football. Uh, again, I think they had a really good offensive plan for our, uh, our, our situation. They ran the clock all the way down and gave their kids a chance to uh, be successful. And um, we just, uh, again, weren't quite as prepared as we need to be. Willie Korn, the quarterback for North Greenville, played his collegiate career at Clemson University, uh, graduated, did get one career start, had two years eligibility, transferred to Marshall, uh, looking for graduate study work, and they wanted him to be a safety. He didn't want to be a safety, so he came somewhat back home, a kid out of Burns High School that uh, led that high school to uh, state championship after state championship and just manage the offense on a third down and six. Rucker goes up the middle. Uh, Boomer Brown comes up with the stop and then first down and 10 for a North Greenville team. As you mentioned, a running style offense just didn't really throw the ball as well as we thought they would. No, they really did a good job of uh, getting on the perimeter and uh, we felt like we, you know, we played pretty well inside the tackles. I think Fred Walker and Terrence Smith had uh, Best game they've had in, in a long time. Uh, it was good to see both those guys make some plays. And uh, Aaron Morgan, 36, actually getting right here in on this tackle was his first real start and real action as a pioneer. And a young man that came in here from California got in here late uh, in camp and is really starting to make some plays. I, I think, Brian, I really feel good about us defensively. It may not seem that way from a statistical standpoint, but I thought we played hard. I thought we uh, we did some really really good things. Here's one thing we did. We didn't. Uh, cover this guy here and we were so run oriented early on when they started running the football at us we still got to look after the pass and, and be prepared for them to be a, a team that can throw the ball but here's big Fred Walker we were talking about Fred a junior from out in California making a big play there and I think he's number 95 and just excited for what he can bring to the table. Willie Corn had 77 yard passing on the day 35 of it there from to Freddie Martino just moments ago Martino in motion and just not a whole lot of running room after that first series um, on the outside because Aaron Morgan had a huge game. Aaron Morgan, Fred Walker again right there on the play. Just really uh, thought they, they performed well. We're getting some heat on the quarterback here and, and he ends up having to throw it to nobody. So it just took us a series there to get calmed and settled down. But uh, again, I feel like Kevin Weston and uh, Steve McGill and Carl Scott have done a good job uh, getting our defense prepared. Here's Aaron Morgan that comes in and makes a big play on fourth down. They actually go for it, and Aaron comes in and gets a big sack for us. On fourth down, North Greenville not trusting their kicking game. Uh, they'll do that quite often in the game, but they are also very good on fourth down late in the contest as well. At the end of one quarter, the Tusculum Pioneers trail North Greenville 7 to nothing. We'll have a look at your second quarter when we return right after this. Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Dean, what's wrong? We all want to go to the game. 
but I still think they have a car big enough for all of us. Don't worry, Dean. My dad's inside Gateway right now buying us a new SUV that can fit all of us. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's, let's go. go! Hey, Ty, you ready to go to the game? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Dad, but we have some new people wanting to go to the game. Well, let's go! Yeah! I see you down world. I'm Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, asking you, like I do my son Ty, to support the Tusculum College Athletics all year long. And for your next car buying experience, please visit Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Go Pioneers! You are Greenville Light and Power System, an electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Green Coach Charters and Tours has been proudly serving the traveling public for 65 years and is the official carrier of Tusculum College. If you have never traveled by Green Coach, may we invite you to join them for an exciting travel adventure. Visit online at greencoach.com. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. The Tusculum Pioneers trail in the first quarter, 7 to nothing to North Greenville. We take a look at your second quarter highlights, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. As we pick up the action, the Tusculum Pioneers taking advantage, or tried to, of a double personal foul. We got great field position here, Brian. Uh, they, they got, a, a, I think, a personal foul and then a late hit. A big 30-yard uh, gain, penalty-wise. and uh, We just uh, didn't quite respond. We've got to do a little better job there protecting Bo, and Bo's got to do a better job of getting rid of the football. Um, here we hit, uh, I guess that's Marcus or that's Brian Marshall out here in the flat. And we get the ball inside the 35-yard uh, line, up having to go for it. It's just not quite what we're wanting to get done, and there we're just a little bit off. Uh, I was trying to get a, a call out of that one. I thought they might have went head-to-head -head on Rashad, but... Regardless, we've got to throw and catch and do a better job once we get the ball in great field position. Pioneers to that point on the year had yet to convert on fourth down. So North Greenville will take over. T. Ryan Rucker rushing for three yards here. He had a big day, 167 yards. Of course, the biggest was right there at the end of the contest, which is what we'll see a little bit later. Justin Arrington, Brian Alexander on the stop. Then it's second down and 12. Big play here. Again, I thought Aaron Morgan played really, really well, and I believe that's him. Is that Aaron, or Brian, or is that Aaron Morgan? Yep, making a great play. And there's Jason Muling getting in on some action. And number 92, one of our seniors from Calhoun, Georgia, that uh, does a great job for us. And again, we're making plays right now uh, that we might not have played, that might not have made a year or so ago. So I think we're doing doing our part. Put some heat on the quarterback, make him throw the ball away. I actually think they had a holding penalty there, and we declined it. And then uh, making them punt. It's the best thing we can ask for. So the punt for Idris, or Isaiah Johnson, 30 yards. Not using their actual punter, they kind of went back to a, a defensive back, the returner as well. So Tusculum has the ball. They start from the 42-yard line, and Xavion Smith comes up with the biggest play of the game for the Pioneers. Great catch by, by X there. He's a South Carolina native, so I'm sure he was excited to make a big play right there. And, uh, unfortunately here, uh, we get hit. We know they're bringing pressure. Uh, Bo has, has got to do a little bit better job. See how wide open Deontay is back there in the back of the end zone. All he's got to do is flip that thing back there deep, and we'll have an opportunity to, to score. But uh, we knew that was going to happen, and they, they schemed it up really well for us. And unfortunately, we turn it over in the end zone. Jonathan Sharp with the interception, the Wofford transfer. So they take over North Greenville, first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. And Willie Corn tries to start with the, uh, the passing game, trying to get it going, but drop passes aren't going to help. Now, again, now we're bringing some heat. It makes it hard on an offense to be successful when we're playing as good as we are defensively right here. And we tripped the running back up there, trying to make something happen up inside, and making them start trying to throw the football. But again, here's Aaron Morgan getting in on some action, scaring them a little bit. And that's, uh, who is that? Desmond, Desmond, Rayford. Desmond Rayford. Desmond getting him some action. Des is proving, he is getting improving weekly right now, starting to understand what we need and want and expect, and it's real happy for him getting in on some action. Desmond Rayford with that stop. He finished. Um, unofficially or officially, however you look at it, with two tackles, it just appeared as if he was in on a whole lot more than uh, his two tackles statistically would indicate. Forcing North Greenville to punt, still just seven to nothing in this contest. And again, the rugby style kick, very difficult to block. And Deontay Giss really makes a, a fine play right here. Great play, and unfortunately, we get called for a penalty that I'm not sure where it happened. Uh, I can't really see it on film, but. Uh Good decision by Deontay, you know, taking an, uh, a risky chance there, but 
in that type ball game, and we've got to have some of our playmakers step up, and I'm okay with him, him trying that. They called the clip on John Perry, which uh, he was back there, but I'm just not exactly sure where that clip came in or even if it was going to affect the play either. Pioneers at halftime trail North Greenville 7 to nothing. The Frankie DeBus Show continues. We'll take a look at your second half highlights. The Frankie DeBus Show presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Dean, what's wrong? We all want to go to the game, but I just don't think they have a car big enough for all of us. Don't worry, Dean. My dad's inside Gateway right now buying us a new SUV that can fit all of us. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's, let's go. go! Hey, Ty, you ready to go to the game? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Dad, but we have some new people wanting to go to the game. Well, let's go! Yeah! I see you, Dad, world. I'm Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, asking you, like I do my son Ty, to support the Tusculum College Athletics all year long. And for your next car buying experience, please visit Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Go Pioneers! Coach, what makes a winning team? A winning team is individuals that are working toward one common goal. Coach, for over 30 years, Andrew Johnson Bank has been a winning team here in Greene County. It has always been our goal to provide superior service to our customers. Andrew Johnson Bank will never quit providing extra effort to make loyal customers in the community. Thank you, Coach DeBus. Thank you, Monica. Andrew Johnson Bank scores points with friendly customer service, top-notch bank products, and convenient locations. Tusculum College and Andrew Johnson Bank are a winning team. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tusculum College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome back into the Frankie DeBusk Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. At the half, the Pioneers trail North Greenville University 7 to nothing. I'm not exactly sure the last time you even heard a Pioneer team at halftime being shut out. But offensively, obviously with some issues. We'll address that here in the second half. We pick up our third quarter coverage with North Greenville on the drive on the first drive of the second half. Our third quarter highlights brought to you by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Yeah, you know, you mentioned it there, Brian. We just were not performing at all offensively. And uh, they get the ball first. And I feel like, again, we're playing hard and giving it everything we can from a defense standpoint. But they've controlled the clock. We're not uh, moving the chains on offense. And they're really just, uh, again, got a good plan. And, uh, we're fighting. We're clawing at it. We just, uh, we're not producing. Third down and two for North Greenville after an eight-yard pass to Martino. T. Ryan Rucker had a big game, stopped shy of the goal line by Fred, by, uh, Fred Walker. And again, a fourth down situation right here for the Crusaders. They were good on fourth downs on the afternoon. Yeah, I thought we had a good call. I thought we had a chance here, and he just squeaked it right in there and made a, made a touchdown for him. And, uh, Again, we, we down 14 now and get the ball back and we keep thinking our motors are going to get started, but unfortunately we have some success, but then we sputter again. As third down situation, Pioneers weren't great on third downs in that first half, but a big third down and 10 conversion to Carter for 13 yards. Mike Rodriguez with the catch across the middle goes just for a yard. Again, good team speed by North Greenville to come up with that. Um, again, going to Rashad Carter, had another big day for seven yards. Yeah, Rashad's playing a little banged up right now, a little gimpy, and got a, a, an ankle injury, but really proud of his effort fighting through that. And, you know, he's a senior leader, uh, giving us everything he can, and here he goes downfield, makes a great block for Deontay to, to squirt through there, and we're having some success. Uh, you know, we, we've got to figure out a way to finish our drives, but we are starting to have a little success here. Rashad Carter, one of his six catches right here in traffic. He's the guy that will go in there and uh, stick his neck on the line somewhat. It's just 62 yards. Deontay Gist at 11 receptions, uh, 138 yards for the Pioneers. And again, into the red zone. Here come the Pioneers. And, and Bo Cordell just getting rid of the ball. Yeah, we have a missed assignment there, unfortunately, trying to get the ball to somebody. And they run the exact same blitz. And uh, unfortunately, they get the same results. We got a guy there in the back of the end zone, supposed to be flipping it to him. And, and Bo's. Uh, Unfortunately, not able to do so and throw another interception in the end zone. And, and Brian, I, I don't really care who you play. If you turn the ball over in the end zone a couple times, you're going to have a very tough time winning the football game. You know, take a look at some of those numbers. You'll have a better idea for the Pioneers what type of a night it actually was. So North Greenville will take over uh, first and 10 from uh, their 10-yard line. We'll pick up this drive for the Crusaders. And again, just handing it off. Um, doing the job, controlling the clock. Corn just kind of managing the offense, but a couple of tip balls here. Terrence Smith gets one of two in the game. Great play by another senior leader there in Terrence Smith. Uh, I'm excited for what he's bringing to the table. And 
Here we again, we're just putting a lot of pressure on that. That's you know, Fred Walker and Terrence together getting in on a sack and uh, challenged Fred before the week and, and I think he really stepped up and played his best football game to date. We just got to keep it, keep it going over there. And, but uh, there's Terrence getting excited and I'm happy for those guys making those plays. The Pioneers looking for Fred Walker for two years to make some plays. He's now just getting healthy and getting the opportunity. And once the Pioneers get the ball back after a stop, again, just the turnover bug right now against this Pioneer team. After, despite a plus three turnover margin going into the game, they'll end the game minus one. Yeah, Michael's got to hang on to the football there. That's, uh, you know, he turned the ball over in game one in a very similar situation. He's, I'm not sure what he's uh, doing there. I thought he had it securely tucked, just got knocked away. And when things start going bad, as, as you know, Brian, it's hard to get out of that rut, as, as well as when things start going good. It really starts to take off for you, and we just, uh, we, we're not performing as well offensively as we need to right now. So the turnover, the fumble, the only fumble of the football game, it will hurt the Pioneers. This is third down and three, Idris Anderson for 13 yards, and then Anderson, a big, powerful back, 205 yards, uh, maybe even more than that. If you look at him right here on film number three, uh, he'll go right up the middle for yet another score for the Crusaders. And now in a big hole, Tusculum down 21 to nothing. That series wasn't very good for us defensively. We, we turned the ball over from an offensive standpoint and didn't take the, veil, the field like I thought we could defensively. And didn't have but a couple of those series on the night, and that was one of them. But uh, we, get, we get an opportunity to get back out there, and uh, Bo makes a great throw to Deontay. And, Deontay was our player of the week on offense and just proud to have him back. And uh, they throw a flag there, give us a penalty. So we're, we're getting to move the change a little bit more. And again, getting closer to that red zone, do get inside the red zone. Tusculum last year converted uh, nearly 90% of the time scoring when they got inside the red zone, the opposition. Uh, this day would have a totally different feel. 0 for 3 in the red zone with two interceptions and then one on downs. This play right here, Bo Cordell quarterback sneak, is the first fourth down converted on the year for the Pioneers. It does keep the drive alive as well uh, for Cordell looking to the end zone for his uh, favorite target here to start the year. Yeah, unfortunately we haven't uh, connected on that. I think that, that was very similar to game one. We let it get right off our fingertips and uh, here's uh, Brian Marshall catching out of the backfield, giving us a chance we get down inside the 10 yard line again. Uh, we go for it's third and short here, I think. We flip it out there and they're just, uh, they're, they're playing harder than we are and decide to go for it on fourth down and. And in this kind of ball game, you're reaching, you're, you're clawing, you're trying to do everything you can. And uh, unfortunately, we throw and catch, but do not convert and give them the football. So the Pioneers turn it over on downs. That was just the start of the fourth quarter. The Pioneers trail 21 to nothing at the end of three. We'll return with more of the Frankie DeBus Show right after this, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Dean, what's wrong? We all want to go to the game, but I just don't think they have a car big enough for all of us. Don't worry, Dean. My dad's inside Gateway right now buying us a new SUV that can fit all of us. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's, let's go. go! Hey, Ty, you ready to go to the game? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Dad, but we have some new people wanting to go to the game. Well, let's go! Yeah! I know you can go, world. I'm Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, asking you, like I do my son Ty, to support the Tusculum College Athletics all year long. And for your next car buying experience, please visit Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Go Pioneers! Applebee's 2 for 20 is back and fresher than ever. Whoa! Hey Chris, nice. hi Jesse. Hey. Ready to order? Yep, 2 for 20. One appetizer, two entrees, and layers of fresh flavor. So, who's paying this week? Uh, call it in the year. Tails. <laughs> Pony up, Palmer. So come on in for new favorites like new creamy chicken fettuccine carbonara, new bruschetta chicken, or classics like the seven ounce house sirloin. That's one appetizer, two entrees, 20 bucks. You got off easy, my friend. It's the freshest two for 20 yet, only at Applebee's. Now serving half price appetizers late night. Anything you'll ever need to rent or buy is at Grand Rental Station. Business, commercial, or residential, from forklifts to backhoes to tents, party goods, wedding supplies, and much more. On the Andrew Johnson Highway in Greenville, Grand Rental Station, 639-6160. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show with head coach Frankie DeBusk. The special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network. Once again, the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBun Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. The Tusculum Pioneers go into the fourth quarter down 21 to nothing. We take a look at your fourth quarter highlights, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. 
that feeling you get as a head coach, Brian, where you're, you're fighting, you're clawing, you're doing everything that you can, and then all of a sudden you feel helpless was starting to set in. We, we've we moved the football, we've had some success, but we just hadn't scored any points, and uh, that's what it's all about. You know, stats are irrelevant. Stats mean nothing if we're not putting points on the board, and uh, that's where we are right now. We're, we're moving the chains and doing some good things, but we're not we're not doing what we need to. There's a number 17, Rafael Finley, a uh, linebacker that – uh, banged up his knee and uh, had to have a scope early on, and it's good to have him back in there in the linebacker core making some plays. Big Fred Walker again. We've talked a lot about Fred, but he had a he had a really good football game. Uh, there he is making a sack. I was trying to get a safety out of that, but it was a good call there by the official. wasn't quite a safety, but we've backed him up. Got to make him punt out of their end zone defensively again, playing well. A very high snap, and uh, Isaiah Johnson does come up and gets the ball out of there, and actually takes a little bit of a North Greenville bounce. And so Tuscaloosa will have great field position to start this very next drive. They're down 21 to nothing. There's all sorts of time in the game, and you just feel like this is it. This is the chance. This is the opportunity. And then, oops. Misfortune again. We uh, you know, wasn't a very good ball, but it was one we should maybe catch. I don't know if we should have thrown it in there. Just pressing, Brian. Our kids are trying so hard. And, you know, we got great kids that are great players. We all know we're going to come out of this and start performing at our our tempo and our level just couldn't do it on Saturday night. For the first time on the night, an interception comes back to hurt uh, Tusculum as North Greenville's Willie Corn goes around left end, picks up a first down on a third down there. Actually, that was third down and 10. So fourth down and two, they again go for it, don't kick it, and Idris Anderson just decides to take it all the way to the house. They missed the point after, so it's 27 to nothing North Greenville when the Pioneer offense. Uh, best drive of the night because at the end of this drive they scored. Yeah, we're finally, uh, you know, we're, we're, I don't know, I guess we're feeling like we got to do something and we're challenged and we're trying to step up. And here we hit Deontay a couple times. And, uh, you know, our, uh, Josh Stone needs to be mentioned. Our left tackle played a really good football game. And uh, here I think there's a penalty and they end up wiping it off, saying the ball was uncatchable. But uh, that's just the way the night went. We didn't have as much success as we needed to. Zambion Smith, who had his first reception of his Pioneer career last year against Western Carolina, go for a touchdown this time, gets behind the defense, filling in for the graduated Calvin Britt, the school's all-time leader in receiving yards. And Smith, a 53-yard reception for a touchdown. Yeah, happy there for X again. He's from over there in South Carolina. And good uh, for him to make a play and send their kicking unit out there and make another extra point. We have been very consistent there to make it 27-7. Uh, and. Uh, it's just sort of the way the night went. We didn't perform as well as we need to. Another drive for the Pioneers that uh, would not convert. We'd go forward on fourth down. They'd get into North Greenville territory, but they mismanaged the clock. I'm not going to skirt the issue anymore. There was some extra incentive for this North Greenville team. I think they believe they're slighted by the South Atlantic Conference as to not be a member. They played Newberry. They embarrassed Newberry. They played Tusculum. They've won 27-7. to This team has a mission as well playing hard right now you know if, a lot of it is believing and right now that, that bunch is believing and uh, we Tuscan College Pioneers have got to play with a sense of urgency that we're not playing with that we have played with um, I hope that this is a wake-up call we'll find out in the future uh, I've told our team I'm, I'm tired of talking I'm tired of me talking and them talking we got to produce and uh, regardless uh, how many All-Americans we have or how much uh, we success we've had in the past it's all irrelevant right now we're sitting here at one and two and we got to uh, we got to step up, make some changes, which we're going to do. And our players have got to start making plays, and we got to start talking, stop talking about it, and start producing. So, I hope that game's behind us. We take that loss very, very uh, heartfelt, and we can move on. Pioneers fall 27-7 to North Greenville University. North Greenville gets their first ever win against the Pioneers, and only the school's third meeting between each other. Well, behind us, we'll talk about some of the players who had big performances when we return with more of the Frankie DeBus Show right after this. The Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Dean, what's wrong? We all want to go to the game, but I just don't think they have a car big enough for all of us. Don't worry, Dean. My dad's inside Gateway right now buying us a new SUV that can fit all of us. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's go! go. Hey, Ty, you ready to go to the game? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Dad, but we have some new people wanting to go to the game. Well, let's go. Yeah! I see you, Dad. I'm Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, asking you, like I do my son Ty, to support the Tusculum College Athletics all year long. And for your next car buying experience, please visit Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Go Pioneers! Consumer Credit Union. Loans? We can do that. Three locations in Greenville and Mossheim. 
At Consumer Credit Union, everybody can join. Visit online at ConsumerCreditUnion.com. Your Greenville Light and Power System and electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at GLPS.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. The Pioneers fall to North Greenville this past Saturday, 27-7, but there were still some very good performers in the contest individually. We'll take a look at those coming up, but first, it's our Applebee's player interview, and our spotlight is on newcomer Aaron Morgan. Our Applebee's player interview for the Frankie DeBus TV show is Aaron Morgan with us now, and Aaron, a huge night for you. You're over 10 tackles, including a sack, couple of hits behind the line of scrimmage. What did it feel like? Uh, for you to get back out there and feel and be an impact player for this Pioneer team? Uh, I feel it feels great. I'm just happy to be here. Coach DeBus gave me an opportunity to come out here and play. And I'm just, you know, they do a good job of preparing us throughout the week. And, you know, he put us in possession just make make the plays. You know, North Greenville's a good team. Uh, they had a good plan offensively. But you guys really stuck him in there. What was, the, was there a turning point in this game that the, you felt as if maybe they just had the upper hand? Uh, no, not really. I just think we came out playing with a lot of emotions. The coaches said we come out and play with a lot of emotions that we would be successful in, which we was. I, I don't really think we kept it up in the second half, but, you know, get back to work on Sunday. I mean, yeah, Sunday, so, you know, that's about it. All right, Catawba is a conference opponent. I know you're new to this whole thing here for the uh, Pioneers. Catawba is a tough team, always going to be, but what's it going to be like kind of getting back home? What's it going to be like this week in practice just preparing for a game where you can get rid of this two-game losing streak? Uh, just, you know, same motions, go uh, go hard every day in practice. That's, that's all we can do, you know. Coaches is going to prepare like they do every week, and we just got to go out there and perform to the best of our ability. There's another guy that in this program used to wear number 36. His name was Justin Scott, and he was a guy that was a ball hawk all over the field. You reminded me of him tonight, and I actually got caught saying, Scott, on it. Oh, that's Aaron Morgan, actually. What's it like to be a pioneer? What's it like to be in this, in this uniform? Well, it feels great. Like I said before, I'm just thankful for the opportunity, happy to be out here, and you know, that's. Uh, I'm glad you said that because that's what I consider myself as a ball hog. Just try to make plays, do whatever I can do to help my team. Outstanding game for you tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aaron Morgan, our Applebee's player interview for the Frankie DeBus TV show. Our Applebee's player interview with Aaron Morgan. We thank him for his time after the contest. It's time now for our individual honors this week. We'll start on offense with the Sodexo Offensive Player of the Week. He's a senior wide receiver from right there at home in Burns High School in Welford, South Carolina. Deontay Gist in the game, 11 receptions, 138 yards, a long of 32, had one rush at 46 yards. In the contest as well, he moves into sixth all-time in receiving yards for a career. He surpasses a former Burns standout, Antoine Glenn, who was obviously a standout at Tusculum College as well. Our Greenville Light and Power Defensive Players of the Week. We'll start with Terrence Smith, the senior defensive lineman out of Riverdale, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta, from North Clayton High School, finishing with five tackles, a tackle for loss, a sack, two block passes in the game. Fred Walker, his best game as a pioneer, the senior defensive lineman out of Danville, California, from Monte Vista High School, finishing with eight tackles, two behind the line, two sacks in the contest for Fred. And for Aaron Morgan, his first game, really, as a pioneer, junior linebacker out of Los Angeles, California from Santee High School, finishing with 11 tackles, two for loss, and two sacks for Aaron Morgan. Our Green Coach Tour Special Teams Player of the Week, Andy Rossetti, the sophomore out of Kenneth City, Florida, four punts, a 41.8 yard average, and a long tying his career high for the second consecutive week and the third time he's done it of 52 yards in the contest. Our Andrew Johnson Bank called the game. Aaron Morgan sack in the first quarter. Porn working from the gun under pressure, sacked by Aaron Morgan, who brings him down back at the 39. And now for our Creekside Market postgame wrap up. A lot of numbers in this game that will say that the Pioneers could have, maybe should have won. But North Greenville finishes on top 27-7. to In the contest, Tusculum just seven rushing yards on 11 carries. North Greenville 61 carries, 270 yards. Pioneers passing 38 of 60, three interceptions, a touchdown for Bo Cordell for 394, while Willie Korn was just 6 of 14 for the Crusaders for just 77 yards. 
Tony Skillam ran 71 plays, 401 yards on the night. 75 plays, 347 yards for North Greenfield. They got 40 yards on the final play of the contest on a run by T. Ryan uh, Rucker as well. Two fumbles, but one loss for the Pioneers, none for North Greenville. Possession time, 20 minutes for Tenskillum, 37 plus for North Greenville. Third downs, Tenskillum 7 of 16, North Greenville 4 of 16. Fourth downs, Tenskillum 1 for 5, North Greenville was 4 for 5 and scored three times on fourth down. And in the red zone, Tenskillum was shut out 0 for 3, North Greenville finishing 4 for 4 on the night. That's our Creekside Market post-game wrap-up. We'll return to wrap up the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, right after this. Applebee's 2 for 20 is back and fresher than ever. Whoa. Hey, Chris. Huge. Hi, Jesse. Hey. Ready to order? Yep, 2 for 20. One appetizer, two entrees, and layers of fresh flavor. So who's paying this week? Uh, call it in the air. Tails. <laughs> Pony up, Palmer. So come on in for new favorites like new creamy chicken fettuccine carbonara, new bruschetta chicken, or classics like the 7-ounce house sirloin. That's one appetizer, two entrees, 20 bucks. You got off easy, my friend. It's the freshest two for 20 yet, only at Applebee's. Now serving half-price appetizers late night. Creekside Market has three locations in southern Greene County to serve. So while you're traveling to or from any game, stop by and pick up a Hunt Brothers pizza for those football Friday nights or Saturday afternoons. Creekside Market, just off the 107, locations on the Asheville Highway, Camp Creek, and the Irwin Highway. Creekside Markets in Greene County. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tenskulam College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System and electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Greene County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Ryan Staten. Welcome back into the Frankie DeBusk Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Well, it is show number three. The pioneers one and two on the year, falling to North Greenville. Uh, mentioned some of those numbers, and you just don't see a whole lot of numbers like that. 0 for 3 in the red zone, um, 0 for on fourth down, or 1 for 5 on fourth downs, which you gave up to North Greenville. It was a, a surreal game, I think, to say the least. Did not play very well from an offensive standpoint. Um, played, played well defensively. I don't want to take that away from our defensive football team. And thought we made some strides in our special teams game. You know, uh, I think we played well enough defensively and well enough in special teams to win but we were just cold offensively. I guess you have those nights in basketball when you can't make a shot, and we had that night in football. We just couldn't, couldn't have success when we needed to. This week, the Pioneers will celebrate homecoming, and I think it's uh, appropriate to, to mention the Hall of Fame inductees at Tusculum College as well. Two of them belong into the uh, Tusculum Football Association, I guess you could say. One, the late Tom Bryant, who was the head football coach to start the reinstatement of football, and another offensive lineman, a great one, and Alan Dunn. By the time you see this show, they have already been inducted, but uh, two guys that I think deserve it of this football program. Yeah, you know, uh, Coach Bryant did a lot for this place years ago when he first started uh, the program, and uh, I like to think that we're successful now, and a lot of it goes back to the credit, to his credit. Uh, very unfortunate in his passing a couple years back, and just a great person, a great man. He was nominated by his uh, former players that played here at Tuscombe College, so I think that goes to show you what kind of person he truly is. And then on the other end of that, uh, Alan Dunn was one of the best offensive linemen that we've ever had here. Uh, he's now an attorney in Chattanooga, doing really, really well for himself, and uh, still a big human being. I still think we'd like to strap him on, uh, shoulder pads on him and go play. But two good, uh, two good Tusculum football uh, former people that's been associated and just very excited for their accomplishments and very excited for their families for them to be able to be a part. The game's Catawba. Uh, they may have struggled a little bit offensively, uh, a little bit, I think, this year. Finally got their first touchdown last week. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm not really worried about anybody but Tusculum College right now. Looking forward to lining up and playing again. And Catawba's going to come in here very, very hungry. Uh, they're 0-3 and, and we'll want a victory and I hope we're hungry as well. It's going to be a, a, it's always a battle. I think those games generally come down to a score of four or five points. Uh, traditionally, if you look back at the Tuscum Catawba games, it's always very close. So I'm sure it'll be that way come Saturday afternoon. I'm fortunate this week. Best of luck this week. Thank you, Brian. Pioneer coach Frankie DeBusk as the Tusculum Pioneers fall to 1-2 and two on the year. Take on Catawba. Again, 0-3 as Catawba. Great defensively. There is no question about it. 
but they have struggled just a little bit offensively. The game time, it's a homecoming kickoff, 2 o'clock for the Pioneers. Our coverage on our Pioneer Sports Network will begin at 1 o'clock this coming Saturday from Pioneer Field at the Nice Longer Sports Complex. Many thanks to all of those who support the Frankie DeBus Show. For all of those behind the scenes and for Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, I'm Brian State. Until next week, hopefully you'll enjoy the Frankie DeBus Show as well. The Frankie DeBus Show presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. This has been the Frankie DeBusk Show with head coach Frankie DeBusk. The Gateway Ford Frankie DeBusk Show featuring coaches' interviews, player spotlights, highlights, and statistical breakdowns. Presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, the home of the big deal. Located on the 11E Bypass in Greenville. And brought to you in part by Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. There's no place like the neighborhood. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Greenville, Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, and Cleveland. Grand Rental Station, Anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by, with three locations in Greene County. Laughlin Memorial Hospital, whatever you do, do it well. By Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 66th anniversary. Special consideration from Comcast Cable. The Gateway Ford Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network.